Hey guys, we're back in a workshop and today I've got a really amazing project for you because if you love Warhammer, then you're going to love this project. I wanted to build a Warhammer weapon for ages now and I've seen a new really cool combat knife or Reva blade in the new Space Marine 2 trailer. So I started to design a new Reva blade and I'm really excited for this project because I am a true Warhammer fan. I'm playing Warhammer since I'm 12 years old. I've got an Ultramarine army, Imperial Fist army, Sons of Horrors army, and many more. And as you can see, this is not built for human small hands like I have. This is built for tall Space Marine hands, so it will fit nicely in his hand. So the Reva blade is now profiled and I've also lost one of my angle grinders and maybe I should pray more to the Omnisire. But the next step is going to be rough grinding this massive blade and then getting it into the heat treatment. And you could also drop a comment down below which Warhammer 40k faction you love and maybe also play. So the Reaver Blade is now roughly ground, so now I can heat treat it. And that means we bring the soul of the Emperor into this blade, we harden it to slay Xenos and heretics, and then we can finish it after the heat treatment. For the Emperor! So the Reaver Blade is now heat treated and it got the Emperor's soul in it to slay some Xenos. And now I can finalize the grind. Grind in that clip probably with a nice 8 inch contact wheel and then also finish up this flat grind on this big recurved blade. And even though without a handle, it already feels like I could slay some Tyranids and some Xenos heretics. It just feels amazing. I'm really looking forward to finish this project. You guys can tell me which Primac is the best and why is it Rogel Dorn? So the Reaver Blade is coming on nicely. The clip is ground and also the edge and I've also added a really nice convexing to the edge. So the edge is more stable when you're doing your slashing through turned hordes. And I'm really excited about finishing up this knife. But now I want to work on the guard because you want to protect your hands when you're stabbing through heretics. And therefore we need a guard and also a really nice handle.
So guys, quick question about Warhammer. And if you're a true loyal fan of Warhammer, comment it down below. Did Magnus do anything wrong? So the handle is now nearly ready for shaping, but beforehand, because I have sandwiched this middle piece between two black G10 pieces, so I can take this one out, but beforehand I have to glue it up. And what I will do is I will put some Vaseline on the handle so it doesn't cure with the epoxy, so I can take it out later, shape the handle, and then later when I'm nearly done with the knife, I can then glue it up. So the handle of the reverb blade is now drying in the background and now I want to start working and shaping on the guard. I want to make it looking really nice and cool, not just rounding off the corners and I want to give it a really nice fitting shape for this amazing Space Marine reverb blade. So the guard piece is now nearly done. I just need to sandblast it and then apply the finish to it. But beforehand, I want to work on the handle because the glue is now dry and I'm now also done with the guard piece. So perfect timing and I can't wait to finish up the handle on this knife. So the handle is taking shape. I could just leave it like that, but I want to add some ripples to it as I've made them in the drawing. So you can see it right here, right there, um, because that just gives it much more texture to grip on because now the handle is really slippery. And if you're fighting against Xenas, all the blood is pouring around you. So you want to have a sturdy grip on your Reva blade. So therefore I have to scribe some lines and then I will file in those ridges. So you will have a lot of texture and grippiness in the end on this handle. And already it feels amazing and it feels like you could slay a lot of heretics with this blade. So before I want to start working on the handle, I did an experiment and I have stenciled out some stencils 
and I put them onto the blade on both sides and now I want to throw it into the acid and then leave it in there for quite a while so it will eat away that blank steel and in the end we will have some cool etchings that is at least the plan otherwise I have to regrind the whole blade and get everything that is etched out of it and so I will throw that into the asset now and in the meantime I can start working on the handle So I've scribed some lines now on the handle and now I will use my triangle file to follow those scribe lines and then later on I will round out these edges that I've filed in and then we'll have a nice grippy handle in the end. The handle piece of the Reva blade is now finally done. It was quite challenging because I never did something like that to make it as uniform as possible. And the blade is still in the acid because I want to have a really nice deep edge. So now I want to take care of the guard. So I'm going to sandblast it and then I'm going to darken it down. The Reva blade is now finally out of the acid. It was one and a half hours in there. Normally I leave my knives in there for let's say 10 minutes. So I have to now sandblast it and see how it looks when the paint is all removed and I hope the etching is deep enough. So I'm back now with the Revo blade out of the sandblasting and you can see all the spray paint is now gone. I wish we could do that with miniatures but I think the miniatures would also get destroyed in that process. And now here is the final etching. It's a little bit crude but I think that suits that gothic grimdark style really really well because this blade is getting used and used and used to slay Xenos and heretics. So. I'm actually really pleased because this is the first time I tried that out and now I've got this really nice etching in the blade. So now that I've got the everything sandblasted, I'm nearly finished with the whole knife. I just want to blacken it down because I want to give it that grim dark feeling. Uh, I also paint my miniatures with really dark swords or knives in the end and I think it just looks way nicer in that grim dark setting. The Reva blade is now nearly ready because now I can finally glue it up and I'm really looking forward for the finished result. Reva blade is now finally done and holy emperor this blade is amazing. I know the handle is quite long but you have to imagine I'm 2 meters 50 high and jacked with testosterone and a power armor on and then suddenly the handle is quite small and this knife is not maybe a half sword it's just a knife in the end but it feels already amazing and what I want to do now is I want to slay some Xenos and some heretic chaos spawns. Die Xenos Filth!
What an awesome project. I love this blade. I love Warhammer and I love knife making. So I'm really, really happy with this one and how it turned out with that ultramarine theme. I'm super pumped about this blade. So this is it guys with this video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you painted some miniatures while you watched this video. It was a really awesome project. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you got any kind of questions, just drop them down below into the comment section. I try to answer them as quickly as possible and we'll see us next week. I forgot a heretic and those dark angels freaking heretics